In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to give you some tips for adding objects and backgrounds into your titles. There are some pluses to doing it and also some limitations. We'll try to touch on all of those. So in this project, we'll give you an example that you can look at for a moment, and then we'll show you how to build something similar to that. The first step I'm going to take is to take my spokesman and I have a picture on green screen and I'll drag that and put that into track number two. And then I want to make the green transparent so I double click on the picture that will get me into my pip designer. I simply move to my chroma key tool, click on the eyedropper and I'll click on the green that will effectively make the background transparent. I'll click on OK. I'm done with that track. Now I'm going to go back to track number one and we'll put a title there. So I'll click on T for the title room or I can press the F7 key. And I'm going to go to custom. I have a custom title I've created called annual report and I will put that on track number one. Then I will lengthen the duration of that to match the duration of my video clip on track number two. Now we're going to do some editing of this particular title. I'll double click on it and it will get me into the title designer. If I'm going to work with backgrounds and objects, I need to make sure I'm not on the basic tab. And this is newer in the more recent versions of PowerDirector. I want to be on the advanced tab. Now in the Advanced tab, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a background. Easiest way to do that is click on the Insert Background icon at the top. It's the rectangle with the plus symbol in the lower left corner. And then it'll take me to my file system. And I move to this folder and I'll click on the Desktop Blue and click on Open. When you apply a background, you have three options. The first option is to stretch it to fit the background. The third one is to crop it so it fits the background with the aspect ratio. If you stretch it, you can modify the shape of it so it doesn't look natural. Or well, the third is a letterbox. A letterbox also maintains the aspect ratio, but it may create a panel that's blank on the left or the right. I'm going to use a crop in this case and we'll apply that and it looks pretty good. Now I have a background. Next thing I want to do is I want to add an image. I'll click on the insert image and let's click on women reaching. Click on open. And that will take my icon and put it on my title. Now the only thing I can do in the default is to fade it so it will fade in and out. If you notice as I move the time indicator I will get a fading in and a fading out. I do not have true keyframe controls on this except for the fade and I must have the fade checked on the left panel. Uh, and that's a bit of a limitation. We'll show you why in a moment. But then I can take this and save it. I'll click on OK. And now when I play it, I do have a background and my spokesman appears on the screen. I have my women reaching, adding in when she gets to that. And that's a good start on a complex title. Let's click on it again. And I want to add one more thing. We added an image. We added the background. Let's add just another title track. I can click on the T or double click anywhere. That will give me a title. We'll just say Dallas Women and I'll pause while I change the font so it's different. So I've changed the font face and the font size. I'll bring it up to the top and I'll have a starting effect on that particular font. Instead of the one you saw in the illustration, we're going to just pick a glow here. That looks pretty good. 
and then I'll click on OK. So now I have a pretty good look at this annual report for women. I have the spokesman in front. I have the graphic and the object behind. And I have a second font here called Dallas Women. One other issue that we may have here is that there, because I can only fade in and fade this out, there are some times when you want to leave it outside of the title. I'm going to go back to my media room and I have another icon called Women Serving. I'll drag this down into track number three and we'll size it to match the other one something close at least for the sake of the tutorial here and in this case I can now that it's separate I can do more with it than I could if it were only inside the title so I'll double click on this and show you a couple of things that we can do for example now that it's a separate image in my track I can uh, do something like scaling it so I can start out I can have it come up to this size and I'll do a scale keyframe. I'll back up to the front and I'll change the scale back to nothing and click on OK. And now when I click on my movie and play it, this will pop up and I couldn't do that if I had it embedded because all I can do right here you see is fade in and fade out. So there are some features if you want to do them you need to leave them outside of the title. Others you can put them in. Now the big advantage of leaving all this inside a title is these elements cannot be separated. The text stay within the title, the background stays within the title, the object stays within the title. So you don't have to worry about having the elements in your title out of sync because you're editing other timelines in your project. So those are some tips on how to add objects and backgrounds into your titles in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.